Hey guys, Anna Green here with Anna B. Changing. I'm here to help you believe in yourself again, take action, and create your story. So let's dive in. So for me, I am an obliger. I learned about four different tendencies of habits through a book called Better Than Before better than before by Gretchen Rubin and the, everybody has um, a different tendency for habits and how to keep those habits going and I am an obliger this is a book that we're going to be talking about in the transformation group that I'm doing um, in a couple of weeks but for me being an obliger what that means is I have no problem and a completely motivated being accountable to somebody else when there's something set up some sort of structure set up around that but for internal accountability, y'all, I'm not accountable to myself at all. I can let myself down and let myself out and let myself get away with anything and everything till the cows come home. It's just how I'm made. That's so maybe you're made in the same way. There's a lot of us that are that are uh, formulated that way. So what I need is external accountability that's set up with rules and structure and the reason a big reason why I know this is because this past month I volunteered crazy <laughs> I did I volunteered to be a part of a group I actually signed up to be part of a group that was it was called the kick a group <laughs> basically that set up that kind of extreme external accountability that here's what's expected of you here's what you need to do you said you want to do this we're asking you to keep your commitment to yourself if you don't if you don't meet these criteria that you agree to up front then i'm sorry we're going to have to kick you out of the group i knew all of that going in right might sound a little harsh well you know what i needed to that i needed that harshness i'm never harsh to myself except for sometimes in my negative self-talk but I never tell myself, oh my gosh, you, you had these goals, you wanted to do these things, and you didn't do the work to get there. Why? What in the world? Why did you not do that? I don't say that to myself. I just say, oh, it's okay. <sighs> it's all right. You thought about doing it, and I know you wanted to do it, so I'll give you partial credit for that, and then we'll just move on, right? Why do we do that to ourselves? That's not helpful. <laughs> that doesn't actually help you change the habits you want to change and lose the weight you want to lose and build your business the way you want to build it and meet those goals and do the things you want to do around your house as the mama, whatever it is, telling yourself it's okay all the time, like having that be your standard mode of operation, letting yourself off the hook all the time that is not going to get you where you want to go. And that's what I was finding for myself. I was constantly, that's the only habit that I formed from that, is that I was consistent about letting myself off the hook. And I didn't want that any longer. So I joined this group, and you may have noticed over the past month that I have been more consistent in the value that I'm bringing to you, more consistent in the, the positivity that I'm bringing out, and it has changed me as a person because I'm taking that action every day. I'm not just talking about it, I'm doing it. So I know that what we talk about is a little bit different. It's not always about business necessarily, it's about your life. But I can tell you from the last 30 days, setting up that external accountability for myself, giving some sort of structure around what it is that I wanted to do, when I was going to do it, putting it in my schedule, knowing what the program was, knowing what was expected of me, knowing how I was going to go about it, learning the things I needed to learn, all of those kind of things. You guys, that has made me so much more confident in 30 days, right? 30 days ago, I would take half an hour to push this live button on Facebook. I'm not kidding you. Why? I don't know. I thought y'all were going to judge me. I don't know. I was judging myself, right? I don't know why. So many excuses, so many doubts, so many everything. You know the biggest thing that changed in this last 30 days was me 
setting up that external accountability, putting my skin in the game, and taking consistent action. In your life, if you want to make those changes, any changes, weight loss, whatever, any changes, you have to set up some sort of external accountability where you tell someone what it is that you want and you give them permission to say, it's not okay that you're just quitting on yourself. You said you want this. Has that completely changed? And have that tough conversation with you. Or set up something where somebody says, this is our group. This is what we're doing. We're all moving forward in the same direction. These are the expectations. If you choose not to meet these expectations, then I'm sorry, I'll move you to another group or, or you know, move you somewhere else. I'm sorry, we can't have you in this group because this is the level that we're expecting you to be at. And you can do this. It's hard to set that kind of expectation for yourself. I know it is. I know it is. I've been on both sides of that. But I can tell you what it's like on the other side of that. If you allow yourself to take that risk on you, set up that external accountability so somebody else besides you knows what's going on, and then you have somebody that you can share with as well in that group or that person that you're working with that you're when you jump off, fall off the wagon, that's something people always say, right? When you fall off that wagon, they can help you get back up and not get run over by the wagon. <laughs> Any of those things. You've got to have that external accountability. You have to have action taking place every single day and not just giving yourself credit for the thought and the intention like I posted about this morning. It's not just about your intentions. We hold ourselves much less accountable than we do other people. If they say they're going to do something and they don't do it, we start to mistrust them, right? If we say we're going to do something and we don't do it, we give ourselves at least partial credit, if not more, for just having the thought and saying that we're going to do it. So what I'm asking you to do is a couple things. <laughs> hold yourself to a higher standard. Find some external accountability for whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Get into an accountability loop group like the transformation group that I run. Find a mentor situation with someone that you're working with or um, in, in the organization that you want to get into. Set up something for yourself that challenges you, that asks you to grow, that forces you to have either you do it or you don't. You're, you're gone. Right? Something like that that scares you a little bit. Because I know that fear is, is a good fear. But that fear is what pushed me through these last 30 days in this challenge that I put myself into willingly scared out of my mind. <laughs> but I did it. I did it. And I know you all saw a change in what I was doing and how I was sharing with you and how I was speaking and any number of those things. It's all about action. That's what it was. So I want you to do something. Take action today. Set up that accountability for yourself. Something so that you can start holding yourself to a better standard. And don't you dare just go back tomorrow and say, oh, well, I thought about last night doing something and then I didn't and give yourself that partial credit for the intention. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Ha, ha, ha.